Did you know that black men are 11 times more likely than white men to be diagnosed with severe mental health problems? To change this pattern, we need to make sure young black boys get the right support for their mental health at the right time. There have been lots of attempts by the government and other services to address these inequalities, but things are getting worse. This current project was inspired by the Black Boy Joy movement and was created to delve deeper into these issues. Working with a group of teenage boys to develop a movement that they felt would mean something to their friends and help challenge the stigma around mental health. In this film, 10 boys share their personal experiences as a black boy and how this affects their mental health. What I love about being a black boy is it's something that, like your heritage, you come from somewhere like, you come from like a great line of, let's say, African people, or you come from, let's say, the Caribbean. But it's like, it gives you someone to like look up to and like, it make you want to know more about your family. A lot of black people are very athletic, strong, smart, and they're just great all around. What I love about being a black boy is the culture, um, the food that we eat, the music we listen to, the way we dress, the sports we play. I think it's something that me and other black boys can relate to. Um, something that makes us unique and different as like a group and a part of society in a way. Society and the media view black boys as like bad people or just assume that we're up to no good and we're going to do something to people or to shops and be a criminal, but we're not. I mean, it's kind of like 50-50 to be honest, because there's some sides of it where it's like, all right, yeah, we don't hate on them as much, but then there's some sides of it where it's like, they're just sending shots for you. Like, you'll try and do something like, say football matches, you miss a penalty, and they're saying rude things about you. It's not really that fair to be honest. The way like, like when I got stopped by the police, it was just like, everything was just rushing through my head. I'm thinking, am I gonna get arrested? Like, I stopped, I just didn't know, so that like, I just, I kept composure and I just, in my opinion, I just felt like it was just wrong. I'm not a kid, like, I'm, I've, I've, I haven't even reached past 15 yet, so it's just like, I can't believe it, so, yeah. I feel like you have to work harder to prove yourself, which is for a lot of black people, but I think for black boys, it's like, we've always got this negative connotation around us because of what people see mainly on the like, mainstream news, like I said. Um, it's not a great feeling, to be honest, but I feel like we get used to it, which we shouldn't. I think a lot of us just get used to it. Um, and it's become the norm now, kind of. It makes me feel quite annoyed because there could be someone else in that shop who is stealing or doing something that they're not supposed to be, but we're being targeted because of the way we look. It shows that it's kind of harder for black boys to succeed in a way because people are seeing negative portrayals of black boys already. They're going to have a negative um, like view of them before they even see them or meet them. It makes me feel like these are meant to protect us, so I just feel like it's, I don't know, it's mad. Black boy joy means something that makes you proud of who you are, as in, if you play football and you're a black boy, take that into advantage and make the most of it, show them what black boys are really talented and what they can really do. Black boy joy means to me is almost like seeing my um, black friends doing well, even if it's in sports, getting good, better at maths in school. And it's also seeing, I don't know, my uncles and my aunties being successful and people in my circle who look like me being successful, someone who I can aspire to be like. It's kind of like, obviously what makes me happy, what makes my black boys happy, um, but also it's like, having pride in being black as well, like being proud to be a black boy. I mean, when I see things on like the news about things happening to, to black people, for example, like George Floyd, that took away my black boy joke because it's making me feel like, how can I go out into this world knowing that people are doing this to black people? 
being excluded from the crowd. You might be enjoying life, having positive meal or playing a type of sport with your friends that may not all be black. And then once that moment strikes, you get cold or get racially abused for just for the colour of your skin. That'll make you feel isolated, make you not want to go out on the mall, which could lead to stuff like depression and problems with your mental health. And that will probably bottle up inside and you don't know who to talk to. Most of the time I speak to my little brother because like he's understanding. Like no, he, he doesn't really say anything, but like when I speak to him, I feel better after doing it. I think I don't really go to anybody really. I can't just keep it to myself. Like, if I'm feeling down, I probably just be in my own like just be by myself most of the time. Just try and work it out on my own. Um, probably my best friend because I've my best friend's also black like me, so he's sure I know that he could relate to a lot of stuff that I'm saying. And he could give me the right feedback so that I don't end up stacking all my emotions in one way and then just come out in a very negative way. So I don't really know many black people that have spoken about mental health, like men anyway. So a lot, of, a lot of black boys love music. A lot of them love fo like football, basketball, athletics. A lot of, I think many of those sports. I think if those athletes and musicians were to talk about it more, I think it'd give young black boys more understanding about it. Loads of people look up to things like footballers, musicians, actors, and if they're black, giving out speeches to do with black boy joy and how men are just people in general treat black boys and they talk about it, it could have a say of how people can look at black boys and think, well, we're not criminals, we're just like everybody else, everybody's equal. Um, if I could create any superpower for black boys, I think it would have to be maybe teleportation maybe because um, even if we're in a, in a situation which we just want to get out of, if I'm feeling a bit down, a bit sad, even when it comes to the police brutality, which we've seen on the news sometimes, if we could just with one snap of our fingers just get away to a safe place somewhere where we want to be. The power to persuade, persuade people to listen to us a bit more, persuade people to change with racism and that kind of stuff. You can just tell them stop, you can tell them no, you can tell them go and they go, they stop, and they stop what they're doing. Maybe, wait, like when they're sad or when they just want to be alone, maybe be invisible, kind of. So like you can have that safe space where you don't feel like you're being watched. Don't boil it up, speak up. All black boys deserve to be seen, heard, celebrated and valued. It's okay not to be okay, but it's better for you to speak up than to suffer in silence. Join the hashtag Speak Up Leads campaign and share your story to encourage others and influence a legacy of change. Show your support by sharing this video in your school, community setting or workplace and become an ally by acknowledging there's a problem, learn from black boys experiences shared in this video and unlearn your unconscious bias. Listen to black boys, yield your privilege and turn your influence into power.